Hi there, my friend. My name is Petula. I'm your host here at All Things Agile. And the question we are going to answer today is very, very simple. Do I need to be in tech to become an Agile coach? So simple question, simple answer. No, you do not need to be in tech to use Agile and to become an Agile coach. And in fact, I would say that now Agile is kind of becoming a standard of business. It's because now we are talking, when we talk about Agile, we mean business agility, we mean organizational learning, we mean change management in a much faster, simplified way. So Agile coaches today are the new change agents, if you will, in organizations. So all you really need, and that is a key point that I always insist on, what you really need is to be very good at understanding, helping others understand, and using agile techniques. And those techniques, they will usually require you to think differently. And why is that that you have to really master, understand, and feel very comfortable with agile? It is because you wouldn't hire a business coach that is not a successful business owner, would you? Would you hire a health and wellness fitness coach that is unfit, that is constantly sick? No, you would expect that person to really master and understand what is it that they are coaching in. So, so long as you really get agile in theory and in practice, which is nothing more than theory applied to reality, if you are capable of doing that, you are already in a great place to become an agile coach. So while Agile started in the world of software development, if you go into the tech industry, you're going to see a lot of uh, hiring opportunities there. Many of the skills that you're going to use as an Agile coach, other than knowing Agile in practice, have to do with nothing related to tech. So how to coach individuals and teams, how to facilitate conversations, how to navigate conflict happening around people. A lot of that, how to experiment with change in a non-intrusive, non-disruptive way. So as you can see, these are skills that you can really acquire no matter the industry you're working on. And all those are highly transferable, actually. They are completely industry agnostic. So if not in tech, where do you start as an agile coach? Right now, wherever you are. That's it. Start where you are right now. The first advantage is that it's not much talked about, but as an agile coach, you are also expected not only expected, but it will be extremely helpful, that you have business acumen. It's part of the Agile coaching framework. So you are already someone who is an expert, someone with a high understanding of how your industry works, whether it's healthcare or marketing, you are primed, you understand the challenges, and you understand actually the points of leverage in your domain. Another good reason for starting not in tech, not in IT, but in your industry is that there is a lot more space for going at a little bit of a slower pace. So the expectations are sometimes a little bit more unclear on how far can we push with agile practices and the benefits and the results that we expect to achieve. So sometimes the expectations are a little lower, the pace is a little slower. That is actually an advantage because you get to learn a little bit more how people respond to the changes and you get to feel a little bit more comfortable in your role as an agile coach as well in a more moderate pace. Another cool thing when you're not working in tech as an agile coach is because there are way less specific recipes and and templates and frameworks applying to your industry directly. So there's a lot more room for experimentation and for learning. If you think about it, what does continuous delivery of value looks like for you as a healthcare provider? What does involving stakeholders early on and often look like for you in your marketing team? So you really get to design those a little bit better and you get to really discover by doing what could be best practices for that. 
And you might even become a reference expert for, let's say, Agile in your industry. So now you're convinced you want to become an Agile coach in your industry. That's absolutely awesome. A couple of advices in here that I would give you. Go at your own pace and try it on yourself first. Nothing, nothing is going to be better than you understanding how is it that you have to change your thinking, how actually hard or easy it is to execute some of the practices. For example, when you think about your work, making sure that your work can be packaged in smaller, different ways, how does that really feel? And what kind of conversations will you be having with people to make those changes? So test on yourself first. You are the safest ground possible. Then you go ahead and you test with your team, hopefully an excited team. It could be yours, it could be, uh, it could be your running group, but it could be a collective space in which people are already excited to start trying these things. So make your life easier and don't try and use Agile in a group that you already know is not very keen on it. Go by affinity. And only then, when you start having a little bit of success, hopefully at your workspace as well, only then start involving management and senior leadership. There is this huge misconception with people thinking that they, you know, either you go full on agile or not, either a company is completely agile or not. And that is a misconception because it assumes that you have a very clear end point. But thinking in agile, flexible, adaptive ways, as you can imagine right now by the words, is a journey. So you're always going to be, pick a point in time, and at that point in time, you're always going to be a little bit more agile than you were before, and definitely less than you would wish to be. So don't think that you have to do this full-on implementation of whatever that is, even if it's just in your team. You can start with a couple of practices and go from there. And lastly, if you have no idea how to implement anything related to Agile, it might then be a little bit too early to start thinking about Agile coaching, but it is a great way to start practicing it. I actually have something for you. It's my ebook. It's called Scrum in Practice, and you can get it for free on my website. And it helps you not only with the explaining what the Agile framework is, this framework called Scrum, what its intention behind it, what are the practices that it asks you to do and why, and it helps you to already start thinking like a coach because at the end of every chapter, I invite you to think in questions. And as you're going to learn in your beautiful journey as an Agile coach, the quality of your questions will determine the quality of your journey. So I wish you a ton of good luck. And I hope this video answered for you the question, how and can I start as an Agile coach outside of the world of tech? And yes, you can. And I hope you do it. So this video ends here. I wish you tons of good luck and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.